hello so mate you welcome to another beautiful video tutorial so in this video i am combining these two dress together to get mine done i want the lower part of the blue dress okay but i want the upper part of the pink dress on it but the only difference between mine is that it is not fitted on the waistline because because of my tummy okay and if you're used to my video you know i make my my dress is according to my body shape so you can use your actual waist measurement so that the style will be more defined if you have a very flat on it okay so this is the back side you can see how neatly done it is now this is a part two of the video i will be continuing from where we stopped if you've not seen the part one check the description box for the link now this is where we stopped in the part one of the video i'm just trying to separate the fabric from um, the paper I'm separating the pattern paper from the fabric and um, in the part one if you've seen part one you know that we went ahead to cut facing because we're not using um, lining we didn't use lining in making of the dress okay so we can go ahead and cut we went ahead to cut facing in the part one so now we are going to be joining them together, but we'll be joining the facing separately, okay? And we'll be joining the main dress separately. So, um, this is me. You can see how I am placing the facing side by side. You make sure that you are placing it right side, facing right side. Right side of the facing, facing the right side of the main dress, okay? So, now, the next thing we'll be doing now is to go ahead and join them together you can see me picking the facing from the dress itself so i'm going to arrange it accordingly so that you don't get confused i do not know why my camera was like this in this part of the video but the other part of the video is very clear okay and i'm sorry about that so what you do now you can see me arranging the facing according to the um, dress so we'll go ahead and join the facing first together so you're joining on the wrong side of the facing. Then after that, I'm going to join this side. You know, we have three pieces for the facing. We also have three pieces for the dress. I will join the facing and come back. So at this point, you can see that the camera is okay now. I've gone ahead to join the facing. Make sure you don't join with more than half inch because that's the sewing allowance we added, okay? Um, the joining allowance. So I'm going to join the main dress together. But at the part where the bustier curve came out, I'm going to pin it down so that it is stable for me. So I'm going to join the three parts together and come back. At this point, I've gone ahead to join it. You can see what we have, right? So this is it. I've gone ahead to join. You can see the bustier parts. You can see the bustier part well curvy. So now we're going to be working on the lower part, okay? But I'm going to be showing us how to do it only on one part. I'll do the other part off camera to save time. I don't want this video to be very long, okay? So you know that if you if you see the part one, like I said, you know that we label it. I have the front center and the back side, the side back and this thing those are the labels you are seeing there it helps as a guide for me to know the right placing okay so that i don't mistake the side for the center because they are not carrying the same curve the center is straight why the side is quite curvy okay so that is that about that so the next thing we are going to do now you can see my thread i will go ahead and thread my needle because we are going to be drawing gathers on this part okay so i'm going to thread my needle and after that i'm going to draw gathers on the upper part of it okay you can see that i spread the up the side of joint to the wrong side okay so you are going to be working on the wrong side of the on the part you draw gathers so you just arrange it accordingly from the side from the side make sure you leave your one and half inch for seam allowance then on the center you leave like one inch okay because the gathers is do not really get to where the joining started okay so you can the other part i joined together i didn't leave any space to join this other part to it so i'm going to open like half an inch up so that i will be able to join this this gather part we are making 
to it so after opening it you put it together you arrange it properly okay then you go ahead first of all join the upper part after that you join the lower part straight down i went ahead to repeat the same thing for the other side and this is what we have okay you can see how nice it is now at this point we have to join and we have to turn with our facing so you are doing right side facing right side pin it together at the center then go ahead and run your stitch you are just joining it together from the shoulder line from the neckline straight to the other side so you're just running it round with half inch okay then after that you go ahead and notch it so you just notch it all around so that when you flip it now it is going to relax very very well on you so after notching it the next thing you're going to do now is to turn it you're turning the facing to the inside because that's where it belongs so after turning it what i would advise you to do as this at this point go ahead and give it a good press iron it very very well and um what you would do what i did at the end of the video at the end of everything was that I ironed the face it down, round it with hemming gun. But that was after I I have gone ahead to weave it, okay? I went ahead to weave the face in round so that it will be neat before ironing it down with hemming gun. So this is the back side. The same thing we've done for the front. We are going to repeat it for the back, okay? So I or I also have my facing for the back, okay? So this is the facing. You can see how I'm placing it. So what we will do now, we'll go ahead and join the back together, same way we did for the front. You're joining with half an inch, don't forget. So this is the back part. I've gone ahead to join it together and this is what we have. And I have my facing with me also. You see that I left half inch opening on the lower part to join the gather part to it. So this is my facing, right? Um, you can see me placing it right side facing right side. Please don't make that mistake. You're placing your facing right side facing right side of the main dress. So I'm, I'm going to arrange it properly. Then I will go straight to the sewing machine and I will join it together. Same way we join the facing for the front. The same way we are joining the facing for the back. Okay. So after that. I'm going straight to the sewing machine to join it together. After joining it together, we can now go ahead and use it to turn the back pattern. If you're still watching to this point and you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much because there will be no me here without you. And to my new subscribers, I want to say a very big thank you. I love you all so much and thank you so much for your support. So this is the facing. I've gone ahead to join the facing together. Okay. So we're going to use it to turn the back side now, but you know that the back side has an opening and it's carrying a button on the shoulder part. Okay. So it's carrying a button you see the you see the upper part there will be button there okay so now i have um two strap i have already sewn two strap the strap was about one inch before i turned it okay so this is what we have you're going to fold it can you see i'm folding it then you place it right you are placing it in between the facing and the main dress that you're making you fold it like that you place it okay but you're going to pin it down you secure it with your pin so that when you're sewing it is not going to um it's not going to be moving so you can see me pinning it down right so this this strap i'm pinning to it is 2.5 inches long okay this this strap i'm folding to it now is 2.5 inches long so by the time you sew half inch away from it you still have enough space to 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 button okay so after pinning it down now i will just go straight to the sewing machine and i will turn the main dress with the facing so by the time i turn it all around now the the button hole i'm i'm fixing now will i will also turn it to the right side so you can see what we have i'm going straight to the sewing machine to sew it down and sew the neckline also so i will do that and come back 
so after that this is what we have i'm gonna head to sew it so you're just going to flip it to the right side you just turn your fabric to the right side you can see that the style is not so difficult to make okay so now that we're done with the facing at this point after putting your facing go ahead and give it a good press so that it will be easy for you i've gone ahead to turn the other side and you can see the button hole there so now the next thing we'll be doing now is to go ahead and fix the gather for the back I've showed us how to do it and I won't be repeating that here so that this video is not as long as the part one, okay? So I've gone ahead to add the gathers to the back pattern and this is what we have. You can see how neatly done it is at this point. So the next thing we'll be doing now, you know, it is carrying a zipper. So I went ahead to open the the facing i went ahead to open it i added 1.5 as my zipper allowance so i open it up to 1.5 then i'm putting the zipper in between the facing and the main fabric so i'll go ahead and sew it down with my 1.5 i'll do the same thing for the other side and after that i'll close the upper part up okay so that it will give me a neat finishing so i've gone ahead to add the zipper to it and you can see what we have you can see how neatly done it is at this point so the next thing we'll be doing now is to join the front and back together i added 1.5 of an inch as seam allowance while i was cutting okay so in joining the sides together it is the 1.5 that i added that i will sew away so that it will leave me with my actual measurement okay so but first of all we're going to join the shoulders first but when joining the shoulders i want it to give me a neat finishing so i'm going to spread it can you see what i'm doing the joining part is going to meet then the facing part will be on each other the main sleeve the main shoulder part is going to be on each other. can you see how i spread it i spread it both the front and back then i will run a straight stitch do the same thing for the other side and i'll come back this is what we have after joining. you can see how neatly done it is right so the next thing we'll be doing now is to join the sides together so i'm using 1.5 like i said earlier because that's what i added when i was cutting the fabric so i'm just going to place it on each other then i will run a straight stitch of 1.5 straight down but we are adding pockets to it i'm not i'm not showing a video of how to add a pocket in this video because it is going to make this video too long if you don't know how to add the pocket to dress i'll drop the link to a detailed and explanatory video i made separately on it in the description box go and see it is very easy to make so right here i've gone ahead to add the pockets and i've turned everything so it's remaining the armhole we need to turn the armhole because there is no lining okay so i went to cut a strap of 1.5 of an inch that's what i will use to turn it around and after turning it all around this is what we have okay you can see how neatly done it is so on the inside i'm going to weave it all around then i will use hemming gum to tape it to tape all the all the facing together and that brings us to the end of the video Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.